Hey guys, welcome back, and, <coughs> excuse me, oh, come on, I have a very bad cough, and, <coughs> today, uh, we're gonna be actually writing the first code for our social networking website, so first, let's open up Notepad++, I have the desktop icon over here, and as soon as I start, what I like to do is, uh, I like to go to false, save as, and, uh, there's a specific library uh, there's a specific place where you have to save your file so that you can actually uh, get this to work what the place is go to C go to XM and then go to um, HT docs oh, it's got to be somewhere yeah right here now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, just uh, this index dot HTML I'm just gonna delete it shift delete yes and we're gonna replace uh, we're gonna click on index.php and go over here to all files and over here we're gonna save as index.php once you've done that click yes so now you have done setting up but I still don't think uh, saving it as index.php was such a good idea so I know uh, it's just foolish but what I'm gonna do is just go back and create a new folder called um, social uh, network network and I'm gonna uh, move it to social network so there we have um, I don't want to keep it anymore I'm just gonna open it social network index.php yeah so now what we uh, I just want you to have bare knowledge of what HTML is so let's get started and I'm not gonna do anything with those style sheets and all that stuff. I'm just gonna go and real quick. I'm gonna type the code head and let's have a title of um social hub. I don't know if that's a real website, but if it is, I'm sorry. And I'm just gonna open the body tag. Oops, happened. Again, slash body, and we're gonna end the HTML over here. And yeah, if you guys don't know HTML, uh, go to the new Boston tutorials for HTML. They're really good. I would uh, prefer for you to go there and learn HTML. Well, PHP, I'll be teaching as we go on the way. And um, uh, I already have launched one of my social uh, social networking websites, and that is kon-nect.tk. And yeah, I didn't buy the domain because uh, I don't have the funds right now. Okay, so th this is how it's gonna look like, but we're gonna create it exactly like this. Still, it's gonna be different, no styles and all that stuff. Now you can register, recover lost password, blah, blah, blah. Well, just go and check it out over there. And you, uh, we even have a language translator. That's by Google, of course. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to add um, a table so that we can align the username and password fields nicely. TR and TD. And let's say username. You know, colon right there slash td and another td we're gonna add an input field over here input type equals text and we're gonna keep a max length for it equals let's see 255 end it over here now if you guys don't know what uh, I'm uh, typing right here you think that it's just crap then you better go and check out the new Boston tutorials for HTML uh, and you uh, get a quite good understanding uh, for it and unfortunately that's not the way I learned uh, HTML so anyways password slash TD and then I start a new TD type equals now this is going to be password so that we get 
uh, the uh, the text that's typed in start out or um, dotted out so that uh, depending on the operating system that you're using we're gonna add a max length of 255 again 255 and we're gonna end the TD we're gonna TR and we're gonna oops I already ended the TR so I'm gonna end the table over here now uh, to view this what we need to do is just go on to localhost and we'll get this up this crap up uh, I'm gonna uh, so now what we have to do is click on social network and there you go we have a clean little thing right here Sorry, I'm really having a bad cold. And uh, as you can see, I can type a maximum of 255 letters over here. Oops, does it really support? I don't think so. One minute. There's an error somewhere over here. Now let's do it. Yeah, see, now I can't type anything. I can even give you the voice of the keyboard. I'm typing the letter J, but it's not coming. Now that's what a max of 255 letters means. And so there you go, you have um, a clean little uh, form, but you need a submit button over here. So let's go ahead and add that real quick. TRTD. Now this thing, you, most of you might not be knowing NBSP. It just leaves um, a couple of few blank spaces over there if you type NBSP, TD. Um, input type equals submit. Let's add a name to it. We're gonna add names to the remaining also. I just have to do it real quick. Name submit, and we're gonna add a value so that some text is displayed. Login. Now let's see. Um, we're gonna take it in just a moment. Welcome back, guys. Just to check if it's recording. Yep. Um, uh, yeah, I've set up the names for this. And, uh, as you can see in many, now, when I refresh, why isn't that coming? Okay. We need to end the TD over here. I didn't do that. Epic fail. I paused the video for writing the rest of the code. I added the name over here, but I didn't do that. I don't know why. So when I refresh, I get the login button also. Now the problem uh, here is it's not gonna do anything. And one more thing that bugs me right now is, uh, for example, when you go to Facebook and, oh, it's not over here. Uh, you, you can see that most of them have, uh, suppose, oh, come on, Yahoo maybe. Yahoo Mail, and when I go to uh, create new account, you can see this are already having this first name written or your last name. So we want, suppose we want that. So what we need to do is now we just add something known as a placeholder. I don't know. I think it's placeholder. Or I think it's something else. Let me just check it out. I don't remember quite well. I uh, uh, I got a recommendation. I don't know why I don't remember. Normally this doesn't happen, but let's inspect this element. Um, let's see. Uh, text. It's title. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. I um, so I'm having a very weak this thing. I think. Mm, a very weak memory. Oh, we're gonna write username over here and just gotta make sure that's capital oops and I yeah there we go now if I save this and just close this real quick and refresh yeah now this comes over here uh, there's this but let me just try adding a placeholder equals username yeah I think this should do it if it doesn't, I'll just check out. Yeah, it did it. Username right here, and when you type, it just goes off. So that's what we wanted. Um, oh, uh, and 
We're gonna add it over here also. Title. Oh, oops. Equals. Um, password. Password. And we're gonna add a place holder equals password. So let's save this and when we refresh, we have it real neat. And uh, the next thing that bugs me is of this text editor, it doesn't, it looks really simple. So what I normally do is I go here, settings, preferences, and I think it's over here. Um, no. Um, yeah, style configurator, and I like this, um, I think dark blue, not, not dark blue. Um, blackboard, no, where was that? Come on. Yeah, deep black. This thing has real good, uh, it looks really good for me. And uh, so that's uh, for our login form. Oh yeah, we even have to add a form over here. Form tag, form name equals, let's add this name. Login and we'll say, yep, I think that's it. And this form, slash form, oops. Yeah, there we go, we've uh, added uh, a form, and in this I was just gonna show you how to add the form. Next we'll um, set up the database for login, and once we've done with login, then we'll start register, cause I like it that way, I don't know why, but we're gonna start register later, and that's all for today, and ha hang on, and tune in, and I don't know what, bug out. Okay, whatever, just keep, stay tuned for uh, more tutorials on how to make this website complete. And so, uh, hopefully you'll get a quite good website running. So that's all for today and don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe.